Good evening everybody, Joshua McGraw from Doppler Interactive coming at you this evening with a tutorial slash help video uh, by request of my friend Michelle Blacala. Uh, they have sent through a, uh, a model that they uh, would like to put into Tidy Tile Mapper and they'd like to know the whys and wherefores of getting it prepped uh, to go into a block. So, uh, and I've decided to use my, my uh, further development scene here which is extremely messy and full of just everything uh, just because it adds a little bit of flavor. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and start a new scene and uh, we'll go through the whole workflow. They have sent me an OBJ file, so I'm just going to grab that and put it in the scene. We'll have a look. Excellent, so here is our platform. Let's uh, go ahead and see how big it is. I have to compare to a standard Unity cube, which is always uh, one by one by one. It is quite substantially bigger, so I'm going to go ahead and find the platform scale. Let's get it down to 0 0.1 maybe. Nope, I think it's going to be 0 0.01. Let's have a look. That is a touch bigger than 1, so I'm going to just shrink it down a little bit. Now if you knew the size to begin with, you could uh, just set this in your advanced settings for tidy tile mapper create map, but I'm going to do it this way because it is easier for me. Beautiful, that'll do it. So let's go ahead and uh, turn off our mesh render there. So we've just got the outline. Pull that back down to the middle. Check against the outline of our cube. I believe that is one by one by one. Excellent, so that's step one. We've got our platform sized up. Now you don't have to do this if you know the size that you've brought in from uh, whatever your 3D modeling program is. Um, I'll generally model it uh, 100 by 100 by 100 and bring it in with a scale factor of 0 0.01, uh, but that's completely up to you. So now we've got our uh, nicely scaled model, but as you can see looking at our uh, forward vector here, um, it will be facing the front, so were you to paint this, the platform would always uh, go towards you. Now we want it to go left and right, obviously, for a, a side-scrolling game. So I'm going to go ahead and grab the internal model there and just rotate that bad boy way uh, 90 degrees on the y-axis. So hopefully that's still centered. Yep, that looks good to me. Uh, it looks like there are no normals on this side, so we'll just uh, flip that bad boy around to negative 90 instead. Uh, what we're really doing here is just making sure that this blue arrow is pointing to the front of the map so that when we paint it, everything will be nicely aligned. That looks like a beautiful piece of work to me. Let's go ahead and delete our cube. Now I've got our platform. I'm going to give it a rename so it's nice. Call it Platform with a capital P. Um, I'm going to go ahead and create a folder just for Michelle here. Um, dump that in as a prefab. So now we have our platform as a prefab. Let's go ahead and open up our tidy tile mapper block editor. You can see all of my test blocks here. Um, oh my goodness. I think an email just came through and you've seen all of the contents. I'll blow that out in post-production. Excellent. Let's go ahead and make a new block. So we'll click add block. We'll call it platform. We will select it from all of our things here. Now I've got platform with a capital P luckily. Throw that bad boy in there. Got a nice little preview. Save it up. Let's just see where that is in our hierarchy of things. Alphabetical order, alphabetical order, alphabetical order. Platform, 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 platform. My goodness, maybe it's not there. No, there it is. Oh, of course, it'll be alphabetical when you reload. Beautiful. Close that up. Let's go ahead and give it a test. First things first, I'll change our render settings to have a white light so that it looks a little bit nicer when we paint. New map. Oh, actually, I'll, I'll name it something a little bit better than test. Michel, add. I'm going to go ahead and paint with some uh, empty blocks straight up to pop it out a little bit. We'll orient our camera once we see the forward direction of the map. The map is pointing to us right now, so we'll just put our camera right here. And uh, let's go ahead and pop some, we'll put some leaves in there so we've got something to bridge between. Excellent. Oh, this is going to be a great bridge. Actually, let's go ahead and we'll put some rocks down there so it's like, oh, it's perilous in the forest. It's a perilous bridging journey. Nice. And then if we grab Michelle's platform here, bang, there you go. 
if we bring our camera in slightly more romantically, maybe sort of at this angle, we'll align that up. Oh, that is just wonderful. Let's pop a directional light in the scene so we can really get to see uh, Michelle's geometry there. Maybe make it a bit yellow because that would be a little bit nicer than white. Sort of maybe there-ish. Give it a arbitrary rotation. And uh, let's go ahead and press play. That is a beautiful platform made by Michelle, uh, put into a block by your humble narrator, and uh, hopefully that is illuminating for all of you tidy tile map uh, users and aspiring tidy tile map users. Uh, that is putting your models into a block. Uh, step one, scale it up nicely. Um, step two, make sure the uh, forward vector is pointing in the correct direction. Step three, stick it in the block editor. Step four, paint that bad boy. Uh, step five, you've won at life, so relax, go to the Caribbean, drink a mojito. This has been Joshua McGraw from Doppler Interactive, hopefully uh, illuminating your life just a little bit. Uh, take care.